So now we start assembling the cabin. The first thing to do is to fit the window frames. Before you glue any of them in, make sure you know exactly what goes where, because some of them look quite similar. Match every one up with a window, particularly these, be careful, because they're very subtly different. The cutout for the window, for the window glazing, is on the inside, of course. So you're know, gluing onto the outside. I'm using a fine nozzle on this to be a little bit more subtle about applying the glue. So we line it up very carefully. They do match perfectly, so if they can't get them to match, then you've got the wrong frame on the wrong window. side And all done. Next we glue the cabin door onto the cabin bulkhead. Next we start the assembly of the cabin. We start with the cabin floor that everything's built onto. We take one side, slot it in, making sure the frames are on the outside of course. Take the other side, slot it in. We take this bulkhead, locate it carefully. This bridge then fits on top of it. Then the bulkhead with the cabin door fits in there. See that the frame fits into the bulkhead. There. It's quite important. Right, let's start tacking it together. Pressing down firmly as we do to make sure everything's in the right place. Pressing these firmly together. Press the side firmly against the bulkhead. And hold it. Now we can run along the floor here. Press this bulkhead firmly down and the side firmly against the bulkhead. Spin it around, 
do the same on the other side. Just hold it long enough to grab. Something tightly together as it sets. Now at the front, there's a straight piece. A, there's a subtle bevel on each end that matches the sides of the cabins. Need to fit that into there. I need to align it with the front end of, end of, edge of the floor carefully hold it down and glue it in place next to this uh, slightly triangular piece fits in snugly it with the back edge of the piece that you've just glued in okay. press these in temporarily just to make sure it's all aligned glue this from the bottom press it firmly Easier to support the roof, but it obviously needs to be needs the sides pulling in, and there's a special jig supplied for that to make life easier. So you don't need to use a special clamp. firmly but you need to hold it vertically as close as you can to vertical now glue these sides in pinching them in like that pressing them down firmly Same on this side. Next we fit the cushions, which simply slots in there, make sure they fit first, then apply some glue, quickly drop it in, locate it, press firmly, quite a large area. Next, the 
the main cabin roof. Now, this thin ply has a natural curve to it, so find the right way up that follows the curve of the frames. Make it easier for yourself. Locate on the, the peg there and between the two sides here, you see. Tack it around the peg. Press it down. A little bit there just to tack it on. And same the other side. Pressing it down firmly. long enough to get in here and glue it properly. You need to press quite firmly here because you're bending the ply. And make sure it's uh, grabbed. And the rest of the side. side and under here and under here. See this. Make sure it connects to the whole frame to give maximum strength. Next we want the two front windows. Now these have a castellated piece in the centre that locates, makes it a little bit easier. Still a little bit fiddly though because you've got to try and juggle these into place. Now I'm making sure that they align on the outer edges so they don't overhang. And I need to just tack. Line. I sit down. Tuck it in there. This back in. Pinch it firmly. Oops. On that edge. And this edge. center. Now these two dowels which support the, the roof need to be beveled slightly if you can see that. 
to get the angle right we first put the roof on temporarily the roof's got two square holes to adjust on up here and there are holes for the dowels as well and while I'm at it there's a slot there for the front window which we'll use in a minute now you can see the angle that's needed and you can file the tops of these dowels to the right angle the intention is that the, the roof the roof is parallel to the deck and also the roof should be horizontal looking from the back when you're comfortable that everything is right looks right you can glue it in then this window has to be fitted a little bit tricky it needs to go into the slot at the top first and it should just slot into place but it will need to be pressed down into place at both corners so press the bottom corner there and glue it in the other corner in and glue it should glue right along and then glue the the roof we fit the, the handrails to the roof there's no precise position for these it's just wherever you, you feel it looks right uh, I use the inside edge of there to align it tack one end align the other end so it looks parallel to the edge that one bend it slightly in the middle because the side of the roof is curved another one need to do these one at a time to make sure that they're firmly fixed <coughs> and there are two more rails on the very top again just judge them however it looks good parallel to the edge to make it a little nicer and the last one and 
the last piece to fit just a little piece to cover over that construction you can put a, a fitting onto this and make a feature of it if you want now one thing left to do I've got to remove these four pieces that were used to hold the sides in and make it easier to assemble easiest to do it from the bottom using a razor saw again just very gently thing to do on this is to fit this piece for the magnetic catch make sure the holes are visible line up with the tab on the back align with the back edge so it doesn't overhang and glue in place Screw the plate onto the onto the cabin. And now we'll assemble the control panel and the captain's chair. Control panel first, three parts to it. Fit the little boss in there. Tack it in. The instruments. Align that very carefully. So it doesn't overhang the back, otherwise it won't fit properly. Okay. There we go. The wheel is held on by a, a brass pin. Probably best to put this on after you've varnished the wheel. Captain's chair, three parts. The seat, the bracket. It's important to get this the right way around. There's a slope on one side. And it must be assembled this way with a slope like that because that matches the edge of the cockpit. So, align the bracket with the base of the seat. Glue it in place. Fit the back of the seat. Choose an angle that looks good. Glue it in. And then that's it. The seat fits. Probably best to paint and varnish them before fitting them in because they could be very difficult to get out later on. And the final parts of the windows, you'd normally fit these after you've painted the model, otherwise, you're going to do a lot of masking around every individual window. They're supplied on a sheet like this, you clip them out in the usual way, file off the pips, peel off the protective film. And they fit snugly into the 
grooves provided. A few drops of sign around the edges, don't need very much at all just to retain them and they're done. And the last thing to assemble is the mast. It consists of three parts, a body with slots for the wiring, a cover piece and a base. Simply align the cover, slot it into the base, make sure it's pressed soundly into the base and lined all the way around. Little glue. fits your lights if you want to. You can round the edge if you prefer that style. The lamp body can be include probably a little thick sino or five minute epoxy. You then have a choice of where to put it. <coughs> there are several classical places for it. Your choice, but wherever you want it, you'll need to put a small hole if you want to wire it up. 